This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. In the last message, I reflected on the worthy reception of Holy Communion. In this message, I would like to reflect on intercommunion. Periodically, I receive a question whether a non-Catholic spouse or some other non-Catholic may receive Holy Communion when this person comes to Mass. It is tragic that there is a division among Christians. The Lord desires that we all be one in Him, and it is important for us to pray for and work toward Christian unity. Though we share more in common with other Christians than there are divisions, we do not overcome the divisions by pretending that they do not exist or by minimizing them. Indifferentism is the attitude that as long as we believe in God, it doesn't make a difference what religion we belong to. However, it does matter. The Second Vatican Council stated, and I quote, Nevertheless, our separated brethren, whether considered as individuals or as communities and churches, are not blessed with that unity which Jesus Christ wished to bestow on all those who through him were born again into one body and with him quickened to newness of life that unity which the Holy Scriptures and ancient tradition of the Church proclaim. For it is only through Christ's Catholic Church, which is the all-embracing means of salvation, that they can benefit fully from the means of salvation. The Sacred Council wishes to turn its attention firstly to the Catholic faithful, basing itself upon sacred scripture and tradition. It teaches that the Church, now sojourning on earth as an exile, is necessary for salvation. Christ, present to us in his body, which is the church, is the one mediator and the unique way of salvation. In explicit terms, he himself affirmed the necessity of faith and baptism and thereby affirmed also the necessity of the church. For through baptism, as through a door, men enter the church. Whosoever, therefore, knowing that the Catholic Church was made necessary by Christ, would refuse to enter or remain in it, could not be saved. End of quote. A helpful way to look at this is a delicious wild blueberry pie. Imagine that this pie has no calories but tastes just as good. Would you rather have just one piece or the whole pie? I would go for the whole pie. In the Catholic Church is found all the means of salvation that God has given us. We have the whole pie. Other Christians are missing some pieces. Thus, if you know that the Catholic Church has all the pieces of the pie, all the means of salvation, and you leave it or refuse to join it, then you are rejecting some of what God has offered for your salvation. It does matter what religion you belong to. They are not all the same. The Eucharist is such a precious piece of the pie, and Protestants and Evangelicals lack that piece. We should always show other Christians utmost respect and charity, which includes acknowledgement of the differences we have. In this light, because we believe that the celebration of the Eucharist is a sign of the unity of faith, life, and worship, Christians with whom we are not fully united are not admitted to Holy Communion, except in very limited circumstances indicated in canon law, such as the danger of death. Nor should we receive communion in their churches. From our perspective, members of the Orthodox and Assyrian churches may receive Holy Communion due to our unity of faith in the Eucharist, However, they should refer to the discipline of their own churches. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.